Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making some Nutella crepes. Delish. Uh, if you ever walk down the street in Paris, they have crepe stands all over. Uh, I know in the malls, they have crepe stands now. Um, so if you like crepes, this, this uh, video is going to be for you. Um, we're going to be making a standard crepe. And this crepe recipe, you can use it. You could do a blueberry, cherry, cheese crepes are great. Uh, all as dessert crepes. Uh, crepe Suzette, which is a classical orange type crepe. Um, same type of recipe, or same exact recipe, I should say. Uh, if you like savory crepes, you could do spinach, you could do wild mushroom, you could do uh, chicken crepes, you could do all types of crepes. And the crepe recipe is all the same. It's just really what you fill it with or what you stuff it with or what you add to it. So, really great recipe to have. Very, very simple to make. So over here I have five ounces of whole milk, which we're gonna put in a bowl. I have five ounces of water, which we're going to add to the bowl. I have one cup of all-purpose flour. I have two whole large eggs. I have just a quarter teaspoon of salt, very hard to see, and a tablespoon of oil. We're going to add all this, mix really well. And now that this is all mixed, the one thing I always do is I always strain my crepe batter. Because occasionally you get clumps in there and I don't really like clumps, clumps of flour in my crepe. So I always just run it, sorry. I always just run it through a strainer. Everybody getting out the, actually there's one or two little, little clumps, but they're pretty good. Let's talk about what we have here. I have a nonstick pan. I have my crepe batter. I'm using, so this is a small, like this is an omelet pan. Uh, for an omelet pan size, you use a one ounce crepe or a one ounce ladle to give you a one ounce crepe. I have some Nutella. I have some triple sec because we're gonna do a flambe with it. Uh, I love my fire. I have some cooking spray, some confectioner sugar, and some mixed berries for garnish. So what we're gonna do, very, very simple. We're gonna first turn on our flame. Light spray, you don't need a lot. And this isn't hot yet because the cooking spray will start to bead a little bit um, when it gets hot. So we're gonna just let it get hot and then we'll proceed. Now you notice that it is starting to bead and there's actually a decent amount of oil in here. I'm actually gonna just get rid of a little bit of that oil because you don't really need all that. More like that. Take one full ounce, right in the middle. And go around. In a couple seconds, this will get solid very, very quickly. And you'll notice that it actually comes up pretty quickly. What we're going to do now is some people flip their crepes. I never flip my crepes ever. I just let it cook for a couple, I mean, literally about a minute, minute and a half. At this point, we're going to add some Nutella. And really, you just need about an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half for a crepe this size. Now we're going to take our crepe. We're going to fold it in half. You notice that's already pretty brown. I'm going to suggest to my cameraman, David, to move or he's going to set himself on fire. You don't have to, this is just for show. But if you take a liqueur, I'm using a triple sec, but you could use any type of liqueur you like. A little bit of a flambe. It's always nice. Just so we're clear, the triple sec doesn't add a whole lot of flavor. It's really just for the shell. Crepe's actually done cooking. We're gonna put it on a plate. 
we're gonna fold it in half again. So our crepe is finished cooking. We're gonna add some confectioner sugar, make our plate look pretty. Add some strawberries to that. Very random, as you can tell. A couple blueberries. And voila, our masterpiece is finished. So now comes the best part of the video, especially since I love Nutella. Cheers. Mm -mm. Delicious. Really, really, really good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content, definitely subscribe to my channel. And uh, tell me what type of crepes you like. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you'll give, give me a good idea of what I should make next. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next video. Be safe, everyone. Bye-bye.